In today's market, enterprises are looking at SD1 to address their needs for more bandwidth and increased use of cloud services, with the one service that provides lower cost per bit and agility than MPLS and higher quality than the internet. SD1 offers greater flexibility than traditional WAN services. SD1 provisioning is complex and largely manual today, and this is exacerbated by the fact that most SD1 service providers are doing multi-sourcing. They don't want to have a single SD1 vendor because each vendor has relative strengths. Each vendor has different GUIs, APIs, methods and procedures, and even different names for attributes. So complexity is compounded by the number of vendors that you have. Next, we see service fulfillment as a manual process, and therefore error prone, and information needs to be retrieved from many different sources to enrich the order. It's costly and takes many weeks. Furthermore, lifecycle management of the SD1 overlay service and the connectivity underlays are disjointed. However, the forecasted revenue stream for managed service providers is expected to grow to over $10 billion by 2024. So there is motivation to address these problems and make the overall approach more streamlined and cost-effective when doing service fulfillment and assurance. Let's look at an example present mode of operation. The CSR creates multiple independent order streams for SD1 overlay, WAN underlay, and value-added functions, such as a firewall. To create provisioning orders, engineers manually collect and correlate data from multiple operation support systems. Next, we see manual provisioning of the SD1 controllers, PE routers, UCPE, VNFs, and other elements. And this is all manual workflow. The impact of this to a business can be as follows. Slow service fulfillment, which delays revenues. Manual errors leading to order fallout. Missed commits and cancelled orders. And high OPEX from all the manual efforts can lead to low margins or high and non-competitive prices meant to maintain margin goals. The challenge is to deal with slow, costly and error-prone service fulfillment. Let's see how Blue Planet SD1 Automation can help. Blue Planet SD1 Automation is very much a modular, open and vendor agnostic solution. This is important for an automation portfolio. Our SD1 Automation solution, like many of our intelligent automation solutions, packages certain capabilities from across the Blue Planet portfolio and includes a set of pre-packaged services that are designed to speed integration into your network and back office. The components are as follows. SD1 Automation combines capabilities from MDSO because the SD1 product offered by most service providers is inherently a multi-domain service. It includes an overlay VPN component, value-added functions, as well as the multi-domain underlay network. To manage the SD1 and value-added VNF lifecycle management, we include capabilities from NFVO. Then, for easing the integration challenges associated with OSS BSS, we also include an API gateway with flexible API plugin capability to support proprietary OSS APIs, as well as a lot of the newer API standards and service models coming out of TMF and MEF. With Unified Assurance and Analytics, UAA, we unify network and service assurance by collecting real-time telemetry and performance data from multi-vendor overlay and multi-domain underlay resources. And in combination with MDSO and NFVO, this enables true closed-loop automation for the entire SD1 services lifecycle. Beyond that, we can extend the solution to provide SD1 service design based on dynamic inventory. And finally, we can also incorporate service order management to decompose the customer-facing service coming from the order management system and orchestrate the individual service elements from UCP delivery to end-to-end -to -end overlay and underlay service activation. Let's look at the solution in a bit more detail. We see that one of the principal values of the Blue Planet SD1 automation solution is the abstraction of vendor proprietary models to the standard MEF services common model to minimize the integration and operations efforts of supporting multiple SD1 vendors. When an order comes in through a common northbound API, Blue Planet automates that entire workflow. The order management system sends the new customer order, customer facing services, to Blue Planet. Blue Planet service order management decomposes the order into individual resource facing services such as UCP device, SD1 service, value-added VNFs, underlay service, and so on. Once the UCPE has been delivered, activated, and connected to the access line, Blue Planet can provision the underlay connectivity service by communicating with network management systems, domain controllers, etc. Blue Planet 
then provisions the SD1 controller with all the information about the SD1 service, creating a new customer or tenant within the SD1 controller, configuring the VPN parameters, which sites can connect to which other sites directly, traffic steering profiles, and specific SD1 Edge node configurations. All that gets programmed into the vendor's SD1 controller. NFVO will then dynamically install, chain, and initialize the SD1 and value added VNFs like firewalls. The SD1 Edge would then call home to the SD1 controller, which would then configure all the SD1 edges and SD1 gateway nodes, with the details being provisioned by MDSO. MDSO can then provision SD1 access to IP services by provisioning the provider edge router that sits between the SD1 VPN and those IP services to which the SD1 Enterprise customer had requested access to. And then finally, it configures the customer-specific SLAs as well as the service topology and policy rules into UAA so that it can begin monitoring and assuring the service. Let's look at the areas of value offered when customers deploy SD1 automation. In the deployment with Windstream, they were performing in the region of 200 manual inputs for SD1 controller configuration and for provisioning access from SD1 VPN to external IP services, 50 additional manual inputs for PE router configuration. This manual effort to collect data from or input data to 10 different systems was taking around 90 minutes of task time. Consequently, Windstream were experiencing expensive manual operations, resulting in slow or protracted order to service intervals and an inability to scale to demand. With Blue Planet's SD1 automation solution, Windstream were able to input a single order, triggering dynamic interrogation of all data sources and correlation of the necessary information. Next, Blue Planet automates configuration of the SD1 controller and the PE router across vendors and domains. Our solution enabled Windstream to virtually eliminate all manual service activation tasks. We also see a reduction in overall fulfillment time from order to acceptance of around 40% and a reduction in service fulfillment cost of around 60%. And finally, by eliminating SD1 vendor lock-in, Windstream can be more competitive with their offering and improve margins. When we look at the business value and benefits, Blue Planet SD1 automation enables incremental revenue and increases customer satisfaction by reducing fulfillment time by up to 40%. With automation, it also reduces service fulfillment OPEX by 60%, largely by eliminating manual activation tasks. And finally, it attains competitive differentiation by eliminating vendor lock-in with a vendor neutral solution that integrates with OSS BSS via common APIs and by enabling unique overlay and underlay closed loop assurance.